Welcome back to Off Script. Kidney disease is the ninth leading cause of death here in the United States. Many patients spend years on dialysis waiting for a donor. The reason, 20%, I found this amazing, 20% of the uh, uh, deceased donor kidneys were thrown away. 20% thrown away. 12 people die every day waiting for one. We've got with us now Dr. Matt Cooper, Director of uh, Kidney and Pancreas Transplantation, Transplantation, can't talk tonight, at Miss R. Georgetown University Hospital. With him is Aaron Taylor, a kidney transplant recipient. Doctor, let me start with you. 20%, wh why is that? Why are we throwing away kidneys when people are waiting? Yeah, so uh, important to appreciate that not all of those 20% are probably transplantable, right. but the, the data still is quite clear that if you looked at kidneys with similar demographics, have been successfully transplanted at other institutions at other times, just there's many obstacles that sometimes prevent the right organ getting to the right patient at the right time. So okay. it is a significant problem. What, what are the obstacles? Well, there's many. Some of them are simple as getting a kidney from point A to point B. Transportation isn't always as easy as you know um, driving it down the street. Sometimes it's coming from one part of the country to the other. Um, there's a, a, a need to make sure that the organ allocation system is as equitable as possible and sometimes the person who is most need of an organ or is most appropriate for it, again, is, is not easy to get to. Um, there's a lot of regulatory issues which um, transplant programs are expected to adhere to and the most challenging recipients or the most challenging donors sometimes I always say it, it's too easy at times to say no, and we always have to figure out how we can work to better to facilitate transplants to say yeah, yes. Yeah, what you haven't brought up is ability to pay and lack of insurance. Those are not factors. Well, we do have, uh, unfortunately, an insurance problem as well for some patients. We have to clear everybody to make sure not only um, can the transplant itself be paid for, but the medications for lifelong care are expensive as well. And so insurance is often a barrier as well for a lot of patients, particularly the lower socioeconomic status like we have here in the Washington, D.C. area that we challenge that with every day. So if there's no insurance, no ability to pay. Yep, then, then unfortunately we have to see if there's um, a potential uh, way for folks to raise money or if there is you know, some um, other types of support out there that patients can find a way to, to pay for all those um, okay. things okay. that they need uh, okay. okay, I think I, I get your point. Erin, what is your story? Um, well, I was uh, diagnosed with lupus nephritis, and so lupus in the kidneys, and it progressed and ended up having to go on dialysis, and um, I was on dialysis for about nine years. Nine years? Yep, yeah. nine years, and then finally, this past May, I got the phone call that they had a kidney for me yeah. up at Georgetown. Help us understand, what are you going through, you, you know, those nine years? Maybe, maybe not so much the first couple of years. I'm sure you're optimistic in the beginning, but as, as the years, you know, go on, well, what, what are you thinking? Um, is it ever going to happen? You know, is there ever, gonna, am I going to get that call finally? You know, um, just waiting, waiting it out. Right. And what is your message out there? I mean, for, for, for the people waiting, for, for the uh, people who might be thinking about being donors, but they've got some hesitancy. What would you say to those people? Uh, I'd say don't, don't get discouraged about, you know, about waiting. Just, you know, keep on being positive about it. That's what I had to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll get through it to finally get to that day. And for the people, you know, that are looking to donate, it really helps out a lot. Yeah. What, what is the message you want to leave us with? Yeah, so uh, there's a, a big effort that was put forward by the National Kidney Foundation to try and find an answer. We use the word discards purposely because we think that there is an opportunity for folks to get together to find answers uh, and to work as a group to find solutions to the problem we have with end-stage renal disease and the supply and demand problem for transplants like Aaron has. Um, and again, we have to f continue to work towards uh, getting more people the opportunity of the gift of life rather than sort of hanging on to that number of 20% discards. There is a better answer out there, and we're going to work towards finding that one. Yeah, Dr. Matt Cooper, uh, Aaron Taylor, thank you both very much. Appreciate having us. Thank you very much. Back in a minute.